What's going on, guys? So, the other day I saw this meme about how the later months have the wrong number names, like September isn't the seventh month, October isn't the eighth, and so on. Uh, and it's kind of cute, you know, sort of a classic setup, but it's also horrible slander. To see why, we gotta go back to the beginning of the calendar. And I don't mean January. Legend has it that there were two brothers, Romulus and Remus. They were abandoned at birth and raised by a giant wolf, and later overthrew a tyrannical king and reclaimed his city. Later on, there was some kind of disagreement about property rights, which ended with Remus dying and Romulus becoming the founder of the new city, henceforth named after him, Rome. Romulus is supposed to have created a ten-month calendar which the Romans used in the early times. It started with March, which would mean the later months would have the correct names, September would be the seventh, and so on. After the ten months, there was a long, monthless winter period before the new year started again the next March. We don't really have any idea if this is true today, but it's a nice backstory. Regardless, by the time of Caesar, the calendar started with January and had twelve months, plus an extra short month called Mercadonius every two years. This was supposed to make the number of days line up properly with the solar year, but they still ended up being a few degrees short of a circle. Know what I'm saying? In fact, while Mercadonius was supposed to occur every two years, its precise length was determined by the head pontiff, a priest who was usually also a politician. This meant that it could be extended or shortened by a few days at their discretion, which was sometimes used to help political allies stay in office or end enemies' terms early. This meant that the calendar past February existed in sort of a ghostly state. The whims of the pontiff made reliable prediction impossible. In order to fix this, my main man Julius rearranged the calendar and altered the lengths of several months into more or less what we use today, and established the idea of leap days which occurred every four years. In addition, since the calendar had been several days short for decades, it had drifted horribly, to the point where it was barely winter by the time March rolled around and spring was supposed to be starting. To get the calendar back on track, the year 708 Ab Urbe Condita, or 46 BC by our measurement, was extended to 445 days long, or, as I like to refer to it, a hideous while. After Caesar's assassination, the month of Quintilus was renamed July in his honor. His eventual successor Augustus, the first Roman emperor, made some more improvements to the way leap days were calculated and received a similar honor with the month of August. So no, Caesar did not wreck our calendar. He actually made sure it turned out all right. 